What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Four Words Monday. I'm glad you're back with me. It's your boy Valet, D Rock, Delroy, however you came at me. But hey, I love you guys. I'm so glad that you guys have been interacting with me on social media, online, email, um, and on the phone. So uh, keep that up because, like I said, man, we're doing exactly what this is all about moving forward, uh, sharing life, sharing knowledge with each other, um, and helping each other grow. Now today, since we're going to just jump back into it, right, living to be known, week 15 I think it is, I'm glad it's week 15, I'm glad that you're still still around, or maybe you're new, hey, it's all good for me, we're just here to, to, to grow with each other, right? So this week we're talking about reality and perception. Um, yeah, we would, we would think that everybody understands the difference between reality and perception. Um, and how they work together um, and, and how one can hinder the other so I just wanted to tap into that today so I'll just go ahead and, and, and give uh, quick little definitions of um, how I'm going to be using perception and how I'm going to be using reality okay so number one perception perception um, as I'm going to talk about today we're talking about the way that you think um, or understand someone or something Okay? The way that you, or the way that I, um, think about or come to understand someone or something. That's how we perceive, right? I perceive you, or I perceive this, I perceive the scene, I perceive the movie, um, and you do the same. It's like a mental image in your brain um, of someone or something, right? Um, it's a sensory effect. We perceive something, and, and it's the way that we put it together in that moment. Um, now, reality... Reality is a true situation. Um, reality is something that has taken place in the past because it's already happened. That's a true situation. Um, it's also something that is neither uh, derivative nor dependent, but exists necessarily. Um, now, to make that simple, it just means that reality is not based upon, it doesn't derive from something else, um, nor is it dependent on my opinion or your opinion, um, right? I'm sitting on these steps. These steps are the reality. Um, the fact that I'm sitting on these steps are not derived from how you perceived, you know, where I'm sitting or where I'm at in the world. Like, we can literally say that this is something that is reality um, because it just exists necessarily, right? Um, I won't go too deep or try to get too deep into thoughts and try to throw myself or you guys off. Um, that's how I'm using reality and perception. Basically, the way that you, you, get, you take mental Im images, your perception, and how you think or understand someone or something versus the reality that something just is. Not based on anything, it just is. All right? So I'll, I'll talk about two things, um, and then I'll just push for it so that we can keep this thing moving because man it's, it's good to be talking to you and I've been using this past week to, uh, to really just look in and think on these things so the first thing I'll say um, I met I met a young man named uh, Hitesh Ramchandi right this is his book it's called Better Than Normal um, now he has cerebral palsy and he's an amazing young man and as far as perceptions and reality go um, I use this book and and I use the example of Hitesh because a lot of people sometimes perceive that if you have any sort of quote unquote disability or challenge um, in your life, whether it be physical or mental, um, that you could be perceived as having a hard life or just being different or not being able to keep up or be cognitive or whatever the case is or whatever ailments people try to place on top of you, it will be perceived that way based on how they view you, based on uh, how they think of you but the reality is is that just like his book says you're better than normal right what is it to be normal right how do you perceive normal how do you perceive greatness how do you perceive perceive weakness um, according to Hitesh man he's he's better than normal he's doing things and beating challenges and he's defeating odds that many people didn't think he could or or thought that he will 
um, I would encourage you to, to look up his book and if you know anybody who goes through some things um, tell them to check out Hitesh from Chandi uh, better than normal because because it will really just give you a, a great perspective um, as far as how you perceive things versus uh, what the reality is right the second example I'll use in uh, talking about reality and perception I'll be dipping into books sometimes and I got this psychology book right because it's so fun um, so it's adventures in perception and personality and I'll just uh, try to sum all this up um, and not go too fast but basically I'm gonna read this little paragraph although it feels as though we see the world as it really is the perceptual system depends on various shortcuts and assumptions when processing incoming sensory information these perceptual processes can be exploited or hacked by designers therefore changing how people see the environment if you alter people's perceptions psychologists have demonstrated that you inevitably influence how they behave now why is that so important why is it so important that if you alter people's perception you can influence in fact the way that they behave because right in the time that we live in right everything's a meme everything's a snapchat everything's quick everything's now we have access to so many things um, and a lot of times we take in so much information and based on our own experiences and how we understand life we perceive all these things in different ways we perceive each other in different ways we perceive situations in different ways we perceive um, right what we're being told about religious things or what we're being told about what is true and what's not true what we're being told about what we should and shouldn't do how we perceive these things um, affects how we are and it's funny that uh, we live in a time where media is so big that what, what happens when you blast the media with so much content of something that may not be true or something that may be skewed right people will perceive that and it will affect the way that they will behave like the way I may behave towards people who dress a certain way or cultures who act a certain way or people who do music a certain way whatever the, the case is right our perceptions of those things will affect how we behave but that doesn't mean that it's the reality that doesn't mean that's just what it is we don't know the full story so what how does that relate with living to be known okay um, let's talk about belief right what you perceive will influence what you believe how you perceive things and that's based on a number of things that you believe about yourself and you believe about other people so we just have to assess what we really believe um, and whether or not we know right do we know how much do we know about what we believe that's from a few weeks ago in order to inform that what we believe is actually true based on what what we know right not just what we perceive um, but that perception right informs our perspectives and, and perspective in itself is the capacity to view things um, in their true relation or their relative importance right um, we have different perspectives and perceptions of things um, but that leads us to find out what the reality is right by asking questions by studying by informing ourselves by um, taking our time now the practice what, what would I say we should practice when it comes to reality and perception um, I would just say practice delayed response right when you perceive something give it three to five seconds before you respond to it think on it right on the things that you do um, perceiving how money works perceiving how business works perceiving how much time it's going to take you to lose weight or gain weight or go somewhere whatever it is however you perceive it just practice the delayed response right take a few more moments a few more seconds so that you can take what you perceive and put it into proper perspective um, so that then you can do what you need to do now relationships communication and finance right how do you perceive your relationships with people your relationship to your job your relationship uh, to your money whatever it you built a relationship to right a relationship to your phone um, however you perceive your relationship to that sometimes you really need to take a step back and look at the reality of that relationship right you may perceive that your relationship is okay or not that bad or that you can make up any reason for what you perceive that your relationship is but if you sat down and had a real talk and had gave you know the truth about how you feel and how you think and how you perceive it right in your relationships to whatever it is 
you'll see the reality in it and then you can change your practice then you can build on knowledge then you know you decide what you believe um, and as far as relationships go how you perceive things are not always bad and are not always good but at least we want them to be honest right we want the perception right we want to take how we perceive things and we want to perceive them honestly whether you know you take it a certain way in the moment that's why I said practice the delayed response so that you can put it in perspective and begin to practice and train yourself on how you perceive the world inform yourself on the world so that the things you do perceive you don't just think it is whatever you want it to be based on your own knowledge or making any assumptions right um, as, and to communication right we don't want to always signal our perceptions too often right like the boy who cried wolf right people perceived him as somebody who couldn't tell the truth so when it came time for him to tell the truth they didn't believe the reality um, and that's how perception can negatively affect reality when we communicate to each other everything shouldn't be a joke right words have meanings and we should use them right if if we constantly only joke and uh, use our own form of language and meaning right how will we ever be able to to perceive what is true and what's not I don't want to have to figure out every day every moment right what you're really communicating because you won't right just give me what it is the truth um, right the reality of how you feel and communicate that instead of uh, laughing everything off or sarcasm and everything or whatever that may be how we communicate we can get better at communicating um, the reality of whatever it is that we're communicating the truth of whatever it is we're communicating so that we can move forward um, not that it's a bad thing to communicate with sarcasm or communicate with jokes and things like that but hey this is all about getting better and moving forward and at some point these are the things that I think about um, lately um, over the last few years to help me get to where I'm going to be exactly who I want to be to, to not only know myself but to let you know me and listen to you know what you know of me so that I can get better and we can do better and we just keep running this cycle where we love you where we're loving on each other and ultimately um, trying to find a better way and making a better way um, lastly finances man finances and perception and reality just because somebody got money and the perception is that they have a great life don't make it true they're still people the reality is that they're still people and they still deal with things like people who don't have money deal with just like people who don't have money are dealing with things that people who have money uh, also deal with even though the things they deal with may be different or the responsibilities may be different right but who's to say one is greater um, and that's a debate for another time but financially even when you perceive what you're gonna need to attain the things that you want you really have to check yourself right you really have to check how you perceive what a dollar's worth, what five dollars is worth, what a thousand or a hundred thousand dollars are worth. Because at the end of the day, if your perception is wrong, and we may make decisions that don't lead um, to the best outcome or the outcome that we would love to see happen, right, that we desire. So yeah, that's, that's my thoughts for today. What do you think, right? Get back to me. I'll write a blog later this week. I'll also drop a track in a little bit here today. Uh, called the alls it was just a little fun uh, putting that together so I love you guys right go out there let's living to be known that's that's for everyone and everything um, and let's just keep it forward motion you know what I'm saying because it's four words Monday and I'm your boy D rock and I love you and I hope you love me and um, I hope that how I placed this camera came out right because I really don't be checking this stuff when I uh, post it yeah anyway uh, go out there and have a great day um, I'll be interacting with y'all later this week. Um, hit me up. Let me know what y'all think. Um, we got a we got a, a great year to get through all this stuff. Um, just know I'm thinking about you. Um, if I've ever known you, and um, yeah, let's do this. I could point out all the things about how bad this life has seemed, but we work hard, we making it for work, motion on everything.